River State Crisis, Court of Appeal refuses to reverse sack of 25 reverse lawmakers. <laughs> Another reporter says it's a freeze of their seats. Another reporter also said it's a, it is an order to remain status quo. <laughs> so I know that uh, the, 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 the lawmakers are looking for a way to get back into the River State House of Assembly, but the PDP River State, under the leadership of the governor, Simonalai Fubara, is holding them very, very tight. Now, wow. So the chairman of the critical committee of the All Progressive Congress APC River State, Tony Okocha, has announced the party's acceptance of the defection of 27 members of the River State House of Assembly. That was then. They already accepted them. So the Court of Appeal sitting in Abuja has refused to reverse the removal of Matt Samuel and 24 others as members of the River State House of Assembly. So in a ruling, the appellate court says giving a verdict reversing the decision of a federal high court which declared their seat vacant will amount to prejudging the appeal currently before it. Exactly. Delivering this ruling, which was done virtually, a three-member panel led by Justice Jimmy, Dada, Jimmy Bada held setting aside the order delivered by the River State uh, High Court, which expelled Mr. Amewule and 24 others. Okay, and will be tantamount to determining the issues on appeal at the interlocutory state. So all parties are therefore ordered to, re to maintain the present status quo and halt hostilities until the determination of the appeal by the court. So also fixes 20, uh, June 20th for the hearing of the appeal by Amewule and others, which is about wanting to get back their seats as members of the State House of Assembly. So the justices prayed all parties in the matter to maintain the present status quo and seize every form of hostility until the matter is held and decided. Okay. Okay. So the, I know that Amewile and his group are, are appealing the judgment to see how they can recover their seat. But that is obviously not going to work. That is not going to work because obviously the way uh, the judiciary high court or federal high court in Abu in a uh, in Port Harcourt had already declared their seat vacant and that there's nothing they can do about it for now. So, but even though the appeal court has set aside June 20th for the case to be heard, everybody should remain status quo for now. Obviously, not all judges are corrupt, even the judges know the sensitivity of the matter before them. If the 25 the campees are restored to the house, then anarchy looms in the oil rich state. The nation will be the ultimate loser. The greed of one man is putting the whole nation under a gunpowder. It is the bad case. It is a bad case. I don't believe that any judge would take the risk of allowing oneself to be used or compromised on this monumental show of greed and political rascality ever known in the history of Nigeria. <laughs> We know that all this is because they failed to achieve their aim. Okay, had it been they impeached the governor, they would be very happy. Exactly, exactly. He go they pepper them, wicked weary. <laughs> Not be like eh? lawless country and highest be that judiciary. For now, I just hope that this judiciary now uh, at the appeal court will obtain. I mean, I will be able to, you know maintain the case because just like the first commenter has said if we allow those people to go back to house of assembly and retain their seat they are still going to continue to cause problems and we will continue to use them the best thing they already publicly declared and apc publicly received them so they are gone they are gone the judiciary High court that was trying to say uh this is what is name justice basam trying to say that uh, they you cannot use a uh, a TV or news media publication to, to as evidence is just doesn't know what he's saying. That is the truth. These are peer court judges are real judges, not cut and nail. I just hope they will do the right thing. Just because they say what you want to be, tomorrow if they say what you don't like, they will become corrupt judges. Of course. 
bro if you are truth accept it of course if you see the truth accept it justice may readily at work <laughs> now you sabi you eh, as in what now with the law so the thing here is that those people they cannot go back they cannot go back they cannot go back that is the truth they just can't go back the matter is above them so river state uh, at appeal court pro wicked lawmakers lose bill to hot sack exactly that was talking about the court of appeal in Port Harcourt on Friday ruled against the appeal filed by the uh, 26 former members of the River State House of Assembly to stay the cushion of the order barring them from parading as lawmakers after their defection to the All Progressive Congress. The Court of Appeal Port Harcourt at a virtual hearing on Friday via Zoom gave its ruling on two motions filed by Martins Amewule and the other defected lawmakers challenging the order of injunction granted by the River State High Court restraining them from acting as lawmakers. So the court in ruling on the first motion granted the appellant's prayers for leave to compile and transmit the records of appeal, deeming the appellant's brief of argument as filed, accelerated the hearing, and a stay of further proceeding at the High Court. So the Court of Appeal, however, refused to grant the prayer for a stay of execution and setting aside the interim order of the lower court. So it held that granting say would be tantamount to determining the appeal at this stage. So the court went on to order that the present status quo should be maintained pending the hearing of the appeal court. So ruling on the second motion, which was brought to set aside the interlocutory injunction of the lower court, the Court of Appeal also refused the prayer and reiterated that the present status quo should be maintained. So the respondents are to file their brief within 72 hours of being served. The case has been adjourned to 28th of June 2024 for hearing of the appeal. So the presiding judge, Justice Hama Akau Baka, stated that I have looked at the peculiar nature of the instant case and do agree that guided by the decision of Ediru versus Tijani 2024 SNWLR uh, part 1931 um, 393 at 416 and pursuant to the stipulation of order 4 it is just that parties hold hostilities until the determination of the appeal before this court. So in consequence, therefore, all parties are ordered to maintain the present status quo pending the determination of the appeal before the court. I have equally studied prayers 6, 8 to 11 prayers uh, prayed for by the, appeal, by the appellants or applicants. So a critical study of the prayers deals with the substance of the issues and on appeal and dealing or granting the same will be tantamount to determining the issues on appeal at this interlocutory stage which this court will decline to do, Bagam. So that's exactly what is happening now. So now the case is now set for June 20, June 20, 2024 for hearing. Meanwhile, everybody should remain the same for now. So it means that Matis Amewule uh, push is now suspended until, 30, on the, until June 20th when the case will be heard. So thank you for listening and let's have your comment as uh, um, PDP and uh, uh, Seminole Fubara continue to surge ahead on this matter.